This theory of everything is also a theory of space and time and the universe itself. It will answer some of the deepest philosophical, theological questions of all time. Grok 3 just uncovered a mind-blowing truth. Gravity might not be what we think it is. It could be a quantum force. For over a century, scientists have struggled to merge Einstein's smooth space-time with the chaotic world of quantum mechanics, and every attempt fell apart. Tune in because what comes next could shake the very foundations of reality. Did an AI just find it? This so-called theory of everything, the big one, the one that ties space, time, and the whole universe into one neat package, has been driving physicists nuts for over 100 years. They have been chasing this elusive truth, trying to make sense of how everything from the tiniest particles to the biggest black holes fits together. And now, an artificial intelligence called Grok 3 might have just blown the doors off everything we thought we knew. Because if what it discovered is true, then reality itself is about to be rewritten. For decades, scientists have been wrestling with two heavyweight theories. Einstein's general relativity, which explains gravity and how massive objects behave in space, and quantum mechanics, which governs the strange and unpredictable world of tiny particles. The problem? These two theories just do not get along. General relativity treats space and time like a smooth fabric, while quantum mechanics insists everything is a chaotic, probabilistic mess at the smallest scales. When you try to mix them, the math falls apart and no one knows why. Enter Grok 3. This artificial intelligence does not think like a human. It does not have biases. It does not get stuck in old ways of thinking. And it does not care about what is impossible. Instead, it chewed through mountains of data. Everything from physics papers to raw experimental results. And found a connection no one had noticed before. What it uncovered could be the missing link physicists have been searching for. A way to finally unify gravity, quantum mechanics, and even the mysterious dark energy that makes up most of the universe. The mind-bending part? Grok 3's results suggest that gravity itself might actually emerge from quantum mechanics. That is massive. If true, it would mean that our entire understanding of how the universe works is off, maybe not completely wrong, but definitely incomplete. This ties into some of the wildest theories out there, like the idea that our reality might just be a lower dimensional projection of something bigger and more complex. If Grok 3's findings hold up, it could mean that our entire view of space-time is outdated or even fundamentally flawed. But it gets even more baffling. If gravity is truly a quantum phenomenon, then our universe might not be alone. There could be multiple universes existing in parallel, connected in ways we do not yet understand. This could finally give weight to the idea of the multiverse, not just a science fiction concept, but a real testable possibility. It also opens the door to technology that has been purely theoretical until now. If we can understand how gravity really works at a quantum level, we might be able to manipulate it. Think artificial gravity, warp drives, and maybe even time travel, the kind of breakthroughs that could change everything about how we live and explore the cosmos. Of course, not everyone is convinced, some physicists are thrilled, thinking this could be the biggest step toward a theory of everything ever made. Others are skeptical. Artificial intelligence, no matter how powerful, is still just a tool, and it can make mistakes. Machine learning models can misinterpret data, miss important factors, or generate solutions that seem plausible, but do not actually mean anything in the real world. Until Grok 3's results can be verified with real-world experiments, this discovery is still just a theory. Now, laboratories around the world are scrambling to test Grok 3's findings. Quantum experiments, particle accelerators, and gravitational wave detectors are all being put to work, trying to see if the artificial intelligence's insights hold up under real-world scrutiny. If they do, the implications are staggering. It would not just change physics textbooks, it would change the way we interact with the universe. New energy sources, propulsion systems, and technologies we cannot even begin to imagine could become possible, but it has to be tested. Science does not run on speculation alone, and even the most exciting ideas have to stand up to rigorous proof. Grok 3 was not built like other artificial intelligence models. It was designed with a singular purpose, to push the boundaries of theoretical physics. It has been trained on an unprecedented data set, including cutting-edge physics papers, real-time quantum mechanics research, 
and massive amounts of experimental data. This allows it to simulate and test complex theories in ways no human or even conventional supercomputer ever could. What makes Grok 3 stand out is its ability to go beyond pattern recognition and actually generate new insights. By analyzing vast amounts of data from particle physics, gravitational waves, and quantum field equations, it can identify connections that even the most brilliant physicists might overlook. Traditional scientific research relies on slow, meticulous testing and human intuition. Grok 3 accelerates the process exponentially, running simulations and mathematical models at a scale previously unimaginable. The potential applications of this discovery are enormous. If Grok 3 is correct, this could lead to breakthroughs in energy production, new ways to manipulate gravity, and even the development of propulsion systems that make interstellar travel possible. Some researchers believe that understanding gravity at a quantum level could allow for the creation of artificial gravity fields, something that could revolutionize space travel and deep space exploration. But before any of that happens, scientists have to prove Grok 3's findings in real-world experiments. That is easier said than done. Testing gravity at a quantum level is an incredibly difficult task, requiring advanced particle accelerators, gravitational wave detectors, and other cutting-edge technology. The challenge is that quantum effects are incredibly tiny, and detecting them requires extreme precision. There is also the risk that Grok 3's discovery might be a mathematical artifact rather than a true breakthrough. Artificial intelligence can find patterns that appear significant but turn out to be coincidences when tested under real conditions. This is why physicists are taking a cautious approach, ensuring that every part of Grok 3's theory is tested and verified before accepting it as fact. If Grok 3's work is confirmed, it would be one of the most profound scientific breakthroughs in history. It could change everything from how we understand the universe to how we develop technology. But for now, the focus remains on verification. The scientific community will not accept this theory until there is solid experimental proof. Grok 3's discovery might also have implications beyond just physics. If we can truly understand how space, time, and gravity function at the smallest scales, it could open up new fields of research in everything from material science to computing. Quantum computing in particular could benefit enormously from these insights, leading to machines that can process information in ways we have never seen before. Scientists rushed to test Grok 3's discovery, but outside the lab, people were wondering, was it really as good as they said? Grok 3 versus the competition. People were hyping up Grok 3 before it even dropped, saying it would be the best artificial intelligence to ever exist. That's a pretty bold claim, and honestly, it's not that simple. Artificial intelligence models aren't a one-size-fits-all deal. Some are stronger in certain areas and weaker in others. And while Grok 3 does a lot of things really well, it's not the holy grail of artificial intelligence. Now let's talk about what's actually good about this thing. First off, price. For now, Grok 3 is totally free. The official account over on X, formerly known as Twitter, even said it will stay that way until their servers melt. No one knows when that will happen, but it is free for now, which is something. Free, however, does not mean you get everything. Premium users get extra perks, more access, and early feature releases. Then there is Deep Search. This feature is actually one of the best things Grok 3 has going for it. It does not just scrape the first results it finds. It browses the web smartly, figuring out which sources are legitimate. And it is fast faster than open artificial intelligence's deep research. It can pull from a ridiculous number of sources, sometimes over 60, and it even gives citations. It is not perfect though. It still spits out some mistakes here and there, especially with older or niche information. But compared to others, it is impressive. Now speed is another major factor. This thing is lightning quick. It does not just return answers fast, but it processes and thinks through prompts almost instantly. That is huge for anyone using it for research or brainstorming. Unlike open artificial intelligence's deep research, which can take several minutes for a single response, Grok 3 gets it done in a fraction of the time. Another major plus is its ability to actually think and reason while generating answers. Instead of just spitting out text, Grok 3 shows its thought process as it works. That is a feature you do not get everywhere and it makes responses feel more like they're coming from an actual intelligent assistant 
instead of just a predictive text machine. Then there is the uncensored nature of the model. Unlike many artificial intelligences that refuse to generate certain types of content, Grok 3 is a lot more relaxed. Try asking for a list of swear words. Most artificial intelligences will not give you anything. Grok 3, though, it will give you a censored list at first. But if you push it a little, it will drop the filter. The smaller version of the model, Grok 3 Mini, does not even bother pretending to hold back. Other models, like open artificial intelligences, will shut you down instantly. Of course, censorship in artificial intelligence is a whole debate on its own. But if you are looking for a model that is more open, this one has you covered. And then there is voice mode. Unlike Open Artificial Intelligence's voice assistant, which has certain built-in safety features, Grok 3's voice mode is completely uncensored. It will say things that no other artificial intelligence would dare, and sometimes that is hilarious. Sure, you have to pay for the feature, and it is not cheap, but it is there, and it is unique. Open Artificial Intelligence's voice mode is a little cheaper, starting at 20 bucks a month compared to Grok's 30. But if you want something that does not hold back, Grok 3 is the way to go. Speaking of intelligence, this model is no joke. A lot of big names in artificial intelligence circles are switching to Grok 3 as their main model, citing its speed and up-to-date knowledge. Is it perfect? No. Is it better than every other model in every category? Definitely not. But it is smart and it is fast, and for some people that is enough. One thing Grok 3 has going for it is frequent updates. Since its release, it has already gotten multiple tweaks and improvements. That is not something every artificial intelligence can claim. Open artificial intelligence's models get regular updates, but some other companies just drop a model and let it sit for months before doing anything with it. Grok 3, on the other hand, is being actively worked on, which is a good sign. Another feature worth mentioning is its direct connection to the X platform. If you use X regularly, this is actually pretty handy. It can analyze and summarize posts, pull in extra context, and give you deeper insights. If you do not use X though, this feature is basically useless. Now let's talk about context windows. Grok 3 supports a massive 1 million token context window natively, though in practice the app limits it to about 128,000 tokens. That is still a lot, more than enough for most use cases. If you are trying to analyze long documents, Having that extra space makes a big difference. Finally, coding. Grok 3 is a powerhouse when it comes to coding. It can build games, generate complex scripts, and solve tough coding challenges with ease. There is a flood of examples online showing it cranking out working games in minutes. Is it the best artificial intelligence for coding? Hard to say. Claude 3.7 just dropped, and early reports suggest it might take the crown. But for now, Grok 3 is definitely one of the top contenders. One more key point is the sheer accessibility of Grok 3. Unlike Open Artificial Intelligence's deep research, which costs 200 bucks a month, Grok 3's deep search is available to free users. This means anyone can test its advanced capabilities without paying a dime. It might not be as in-depth as Open Artificial Intelligence's deep research, but it gets the job done quickly and efficiently. The same goes for reasoning mode. Grok 3 allows users to watch its thought process unfold in real time, something that is usually locked behind paywalls in other models. It is not just about spitting out text, but about showing how it arrives at its answers. That is a game changer for people who want to understand artificial intelligence decision making instead of just getting a final answer. Then there is the question of real time knowledge. Grok 3, unlike some competitors, still offers live search capabilities even without deep search enabled. While it is not as detailed as deep search, it is still better than models that completely lack live web access. That means it can pull in recent events and information rather than relying solely on training data. One of the biggest factors that make Grok 3 stand out is its ability to adapt. Artificial intelligence models tend to be limited by their training data, but Grok 3 keeps evolving. That is partly due to frequent updates and partly due to its deep search and reasoning capabilities. It can process large amounts of data quickly, adapt to new information, and deliver responses that feel relevant. Another area where Grok 3 shines is in its integration with different platforms. Unlike most artificial intelligence models that exist solely in standalone applications, Grok 3 
has been designed to work directly within the X platform. This means it can be used to analyze posts, summarize discussions, and provide insights without switching between multiple apps. If you are someone who relies on X for news or discussions, this kind of integration is a major plus. The last major strength of Grok3 is its multimodal capabilities. It does not just handle text-based interactions, it also has image and voice functionalities. The ability to process images and respond with detailed insights puts it ahead of a lot of models that are still strictly text-based. Even though its advanced voice mode is locked behind a paywall, the fact that it exists at all makes it one of the more versatile artificial intelligence models available. Grok 3 seemed unstoppable, but no tech is perfect. Some flaws were too big to ignore. Not so smart when AI falls flat. Grok 3 has some serious problems, and they start with image recognition. It simply does not have it. Other artificial intelligence models can analyze images, but Grok 3 relies on a separate system to describe them. Instead of actually recognizing what is in a picture, it spits out a vague description. That makes it useless for tasks where you need real visual understanding. Tested it with an image from Minecraft and asked how to recreate it. Instead of recognizing the upside-down creature as a well-known Easter egg, Grok 3 gave generic building instructions. ChatGPT, on the other hand, immediately understood the image and provided the correct steps. The same issue happened with a game demo diagram. Grok 3 should have recognized the labeled components and helped set up the code. Instead, it failed to provide anything useful. Trying to use Grok 3 for anything visual is like expecting a broken camera to take a clear picture. Shopping is another failure. Uploaded a picture of a martini glass and asked it to find a matching one online. The search results were completely off. OpenAI had some struggles too, but at least it tried to match the shape. Grok 3, on the other hand, pulled up random glassware that was not even close. If you need accurate image-based search, this model is not the answer. Response length is another weak point. If you are looking for detailed, in-depth answers, Grok 3 falls short. Compared to ChatGPT, which provides lengthy, well-structured responses, Grok 3's answers feel rushed and incomplete. Same prompt, far less useful detail. If you need an artificial intelligence that truly breaks things down, this is not the one. Integration is another problem. There is no official way to add Grok 3 into apps or websites. OpenAI and Claude both have application programming interfaces that developers can use, but Grok 3 does not. Some third-party developers have created workarounds, but they are not official and may stop working at any time. For developers, this makes Grok 3 useless. There is also no Android app. If you want to use Grok 3 on a mobile device, you have to go through the website. Given how many people use Android, this is a major oversight. Pre-registration is available, but that does not help today. If you rely on Android, this artificial intelligence is not ready for you. Pricing is another uncertain area. Right now, it is free, but only until our servers melt. That means there is no clear guarantee of long-term access. It could stay free for a while, or it could start charging users tomorrow. If you need stable, reliable artificial intelligence access, this is not a safe choice. Lastly, Deep Research did not even find the right martini glass. Even after spending 200 bucks, the results were useless. If a simple shopping task is beyond its capabilities, that raises serious concerns about what else it cannot do. Is Grok truly ready for the masses, or is it just a flashy beta test? Let us know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more deep dives.